Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to access online features of the 3DS with a custom firmware installed. So normally if you try to go online, it'll give you an error code, and then if you look that up, it'll tell you that a system update is required. So it's actually as simple as updating your emunand. This won't update your system NAND, so all of the exploits you do will still be possible. So we're going to go into our system settings, and I'll just switch to the bottom screen. And we're going to go to other settings, and we're going to go all the way to the end, and we're going to go to system update. And then you're going to hit OK, and you're going to accept all of these prompts that may come up. Mine is already on 11.0, so it's not going to update much. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more videos. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask in the comments below, and I'm sure someone will help you.